Welcome back to Cooking with E. Today we're going to make a Jim Beam marinade for some chicken thighs I got going. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, welcome to Cooking with E on Destroyer 1320. Go ahead and sidekick that subscribe button, hit the little bell, and crack the like button if you would uh, while you're watching this. So I'm going to make a little impromptu marinade here. And these are the ingredients that I found that I had laying around to make my marinade. So I got some brown sugar, pink lemonade, teriyaki, a little Jim Beam, adobo, tahini, and a little bit of garlic powder. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of this in a bag here and we'll get the process started. All right, let's get started. So, I couldn't find one of my old uh, protein shakers, so I'm just using a bag here to mix up this marinade. Uh, I think I'm gonna go dry ingredients first. This has been sitting in there a while, so I'm gonna break some of that up. Let me get me a good handful. It looks like I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six chicken breasts, chicken thighs, sorry. First, some thighs with that good dark meat in them. So I basically filled the bottom of the bag here with some brown sugar. Brown sugar. And then I'm going to put in a healthy dose of adobo here. Tahini, this stuff can be overpowering, but it's really, really good if you use it correctly. So don't get nuts with it. Just a little bit and start to see that color in the bottom of the bag. You're good. Garlic powder. I don't know anybody who doesn't like garlic, and if you don't, sorry, but you're missing out. It's uh, probably my favorite thing. Okay, do a little teriyaki in here. Once again, I won't get two nuts, partly because I don't have a whole bunch of it, but wanted to get some in there. All right. Let's go ahead with the pink lemonade. And I don't want it too runny, but right about there is good. Like I said, I kind of just looked around to see what I had to make kind of a little impromptu marinade here, and all this stuff is going to be delicious for a marinade. All right, bottoms up here. Oh, that's about enough. I don't want it to overpower. So I notice it's pretty runny right now, but let me see what we can do when we mix it up here. Oh, it's already getting better. Okay, I'm gonna throw just a little bit more brown sugar in there. And we'll go ahead and get our chicken thighs in there. I'm just going to throw two more handfuls. One, two. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get these chicken thighs out of here. I'll cut off some of the fat, and we will get them in our marinade. Stay tuned. All right, so I got these in here marinating. Um, I unsuccessfully cut off the fat because... When I opened them up, they were still frozen. They sat out in the sink for the day and I figured I was good to go. The top was thawed, but the bottom was solid as a rock. So these are frozen. I'm gonna let them sit outside here and thaw out a little bit. Check in on them about 20 minutes or so and see if they're starting to thaw out and suck in some of that love. But I'll probably leave them in here 45 minutes to an hour before I pop them on the grill. And I'm just gonna burn the fat off them, I guess. So stay tuned. So these have been uh, in this bag here, marinating, and I've been flipping them and moving them around and fiddling with them. They're finally, uh, it's still cold. The bag is cold, but the chicken is finally pliable now, where I can roll it open while it's in the bag and make sure the love's getting all the way permeated into the meat. Yes, I said permeated. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this baby up to 350 for a cooking temp. 
once that thing rises up there we will get the show on the road and today for today's smoke we're going to use the traeger oak we're going to use that to make this chicken extra tasty all right we are up to temp seems like it's uh popped up a little more it'll come back down let's go ahead and grab these bad boys chuck them on there That smells so good. Check in them things about uh, 10 or 15 minutes, see how they're doing. Let's take a peek and see what these birds is doing. What you doing in there? Sure smelling good. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Looking good, looking good. I am liking it. Get you open. I'll open you up. There you go. I am so good. Oh yeah, this is gonna be amazing. So the nice thing about the uh, chicken thighs is that you really don't have to worry about overcooking them. Uh, these have been on here about 15 minutes or so now. You can see, they're starting to get healthy and happy and looking all tasty, tasty bad. But I've, I've left them on for an hour when I was swimming in the pool and you still have the same taste, same texture. They're, they're pretty simple to cook. I, uh, I generally do between a half hour and 45 minutes. I look at the color and then I kind of do the little beep, beep, beep to see if they're soft or if they're starting to get a little bit of firm to them. Pull them off and they're good. Can't wait. All right, it's been about 40 minutes on these. Oh, can you smell that? Oh, man. All right, let's pop one of these off just to make sure we're good to go. I'll get one with a little bit of fat on the back there. Well, let's take a look at that. Oh man, that is looking so good. All right. Let's go ahead and cut this open and see what we got. Oh, wow. Just take a look at that. Hold on, you guys got to get closer. Just take a look. Oh, oh man, that is so beautiful. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm telling you guys, don't be afraid to get in your kitchens. Look and see what you got. Whatever you have in there, there's a couple rules. Just think, you know, sweet and savory, uh, heat and sweet. Uh, just some simple things, you know, you don't want to get too crazy with it, but experiment, have some fun. I've never put all this stuff together the way I just did, but look in your cabinet, see what you got. Don't be afraid to experiment. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.